Hey, it's been a little while. Uh, I'm going into Toronto today for a special event. Thought you might like to come with me. Let's get ready together. And while I do that, we'll just have a little update. I've just showered and put on some vitamin C. Uh, this was sent to me, IDC Plus Boost Vitamin C. So that's a nice little cream. And then I have lots of SPF that I use on my face, but today I'm using the CeraVe, CeraVe. So we have this one. This is the Skin Renewing Day Cream SPF 30. I use this one a bunch. What I like about it is that when I put it on, it almost acts like a bit mattifying, um, where some of my other SPFs are a little bit more dewy, and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna be doing my makeup so I don't need super dewy going on. Now this evening, they did not really provide a dress code, so I'm not entirely sure what I wanna wear, but I'll show you what I'm leaning towards. Okay, this is inside out, uh, but it is a silk dress from Wilfred. Oh God, just poked myself. How did I just poke myself in the eye? Anyway, silk dress blue from Wilfred Aritzia. There's also this one, and this is from Dynamite, also inside out. Um, I might wear that one. We'll see. Even though it's like September 5th, it is so hot outside, and so I definitely need like a nice light dress. Um, yeah, we'll see. I'm sort of leaning more towards the blue one. We'll see how it goes. I was also gifted these, which are called my perfect pair. They're kind of amazing. They're these shape, it's shaped like a pair basically, but they look like this and you can wear them um, with strapless backless dresses and they are incredible, especially for my fuller chested girls, like I kid you not. I wore them to my sister's wedding um, when I was her bridesmaid and yeah, incredible. So anyway, I've got the sand that would go with the green or the midnight that would go with the darker color and then this kind of like if I need a little, a little push together. Anyway, we have those. All my makeup I have downsized. I got rid of a bunch of stuff, so it basically all fits in there. And this is even a travel kit. I don't know why that's there. Okay, but anyway, makeup, hair products. I'm gonna use my Dyson blow dryer and then also my Dyson Corral to add some waves. I'm actually bringing my friend with me tonight. She's not in the industry. She's a high school teacher, uh, but she loves the TIFF you know, film festival, all of that stuff. And this event is part of that, even though we're not seeing a movie or anything. Anyway, so I invited her to join me. So I've got about an hour, just shy of an hour, 45 minutes, and then I'd like to go and leave. So let's do this, let's get ready. So I'm in the middle of um, of a pixie grow out right now. And I would say that Courtney and I have done a very good job. We're almost, we're at like a French bob, right? If you kinda, this length is not my favorite. It's really, it makes me wanna either like shave it off, um, but I just know I'm like this much, I have like an inch and then I'm where I wanna be. Like I just wanna be at like a bob, you know? Um, I just find this doesn't hit me at a very flattering spot. So, uh, this is not the ended look. We are going to add some waves and make this look a little bit better. But first, we're gonna do some makeup. It's also interesting when you stop dyeing your hair, so I haven't dyed my hair in a bit. Um, and my plan there is just to let it kind of grow. Like, first of all, I have this, the cutest little, can you see it? I have like one, I don't have, I don't have very much gray hair. I got one cute little gray hair right there and one back here and I'm like, I would love some more, mark my words. This will come back to haunt me at some point. But it's just fun, like, anyway. So the hair situ is that I'm just letting it go natural for a bit. I haven't been natural in a few years. And so it's like, I think the last time was over the pandemic and mostly that was just out of the fact that we couldn't get to the hairstylists, right? Couldn't get to see Courtney. So um, letting it go natural. And it's interesting because when you don't dye your hair, the texture of your hair is different. So when my hair is, treated it has um it's drier it has more um like there's more i don't know like it holds movement better it holds a style better so i notice like i actually have to wash my hair more now that it's not colored because like natural oils like it's very interesting how anyway blah 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 hair but here we are okay so i have my dyson corral isn't she cute it's like very barbie core Actually, it's quite fun because ever since I got this, Esme's been using it regularly and I don't mind it as much because with a Dyson hair product, like 
yes, it is an investment, but also it's better for your hair than other heat, you know, items out there. Not to say that heat is good in any way, but like it's just a little bit better. So I don't feel as bad that she's using this on her hair. And I love that it's cord free. So like it just charges on this stand like so. How cute. And uh, she fully charged. I just charged it. I was in the shower. Anyway, and you can take out the battery. So when you're traveling, uh, but if you're traveling like, you know, domestically, you can bring it with you. Apparently I need a taller tripod, but we're just going to work with what we're working with here. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go with my It Cosmetics. This is the Your Skin But Better CC Plus Nude Glow. Now this definitely has a dewy finish, but I just think, I think I'm going to be very warm this evening because it is very hot. And so I'm just going to go with this. But I was recently switched over to It Cosmetics um, by a friend of mine. She's actually the It Cosmetics, I think, an ambassador for Canada. So obviously she knows her stuff, but she was like, you have to try their CC cream. And I'm obsessed. It's so good. I use it when I just want like a nice light finish. And then I also have this other one, which is this one isn't the Nude Plus. It's like their regular CC cream, your skin, but better. It has a much um, softer finish, very matte like, and um, I just think it looks incredible. My ears are glowing. They got hot. I find red wine. <laughs> red wine does that to my ears and so do blow dryers. I honestly don't know how it works out that I'm rushing all the time. <laughs> like, I gave myself so much time to get ready. I don't know what my problem is, guys. So the makeup is just subtle. Honestly, it's like my usual kind of rosy colors. Looks good with my green eyes, I think. A little blush or a lot of blush goes a long way. There we go. I think I'll just bring this with. And I have, this is, I love this stuff, this Rimmel Instant Matte. This is so ancient, but it is, as you can tell, um, I don't even know if I bought it in Canada. I must have. Anyway, it can't be that old, can it? All right, so makeup is basically done. I'm gonna use some of this Rare Beauty setting spray. I'm getting down to the end here, okay. And then this is pretty cool. So you turn it, the button, choose your heat settings, you know, got the mid-range one and then it'll beep when it's ready. I feel a bit out of practice with my makeup because I, oh, it's ready, because I just haven't been wearing makeup like this summer. Like, why would I, really, you know? Just gonna add some, just some like waves, just to give it a little movement because I'll tell you this much, if I get sweaty, my hair is gonna curl. <laughs> Especially when I haven't dyed it in a while and it's going back to its natural texture. And then what I like to do is I like to just straighten the ends of it. So it gives it a bit more, I don't know, it doesn't look so like mom bob. <laughs> oh God. And then I just realized I can bring this with me in the car and then touch up when I get there. And because I change my hair so often, um, I often forget like what style I like to do, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Because you guys, I change my hair a lot. I'm praying I don't have to fill my car up with gas. We'll see. Okay, that'll do to start. But currently using the telescoping mascara, don't love it. I think the brush is like a little too precise for me and uh, I honestly just make a mess of things. <laughs> that kind of brush, it doesn't want to focus for you but you get the idea. How many minutes do I have Amanda? I got 15 minutes. I did have a nice protein dense lunch and I'm gonna bring a little snack in the car, I think. That might be, that might be reaching for what I can actually do in the amount of time I have left. I'm definitely gonna bring a water. And then if I have to stop for gas, which I usually do, honestly, I'll get, um, I like to get 
a Red Bull, and I'll get a popcorn. And that'll kind of tide me over. Hopefully there's some food there. There tends to be at these kind of events, little nipples. And if there isn't, I'll be treating my friend to food on the way home. <laughs> <sighs> Honest to God, as usual, I ran out of time. It is 3.36, so this is the dress that I went for. Let's see if I can give you a little. The only thing is that perfect pair. I, I don't know. It's a different material. You can't see me. It's a different material than the last one I used. Here we go. I do have my thigh savers on, so I don't want to hide those, but that's it. Doo -doo. And I just, honestly, I'm an Apple Watch kind of girl. And I just have my earrings with a touch of green. Green eyes, let's go. Oh my God, I just, I drive myself crazy with how often I am running late for shit. So my friend lives across town. Let's go get her. Here's the stuff I'm bringing. I'm bringing my hair tool, hairspray, scissors, in case I need to fix this bra I'm wearing, some deodorant, a brush, makeup, and a little white shirt. And of course, this is the look. It's kind of fun to have the light like this. It makes my face look like it's all glowy. Anyway, let's go. Baby.